Is this the, the beginning of the end or the, the beginning of something great here, Gene? I think it's the beginning of a difficult piece, and I would just con put the context of Microsoft and Google earnings and their outlook is actually favorable, even for Google. Google's down today because of the impact of Eastern Europe on YouTube, but their core business up 24% year over year. That is steady. That's the same uh, growth that we've seen in the last four years. And Microsoft talked about strong growth off of difficult comps. And so uh, what's there not to like with these results? And the simple takeaway is not much except one fine detail, which is the magnitude of the upside of both of these companies has been diminishing over the past year. If you look at Google, they exceeded revenue expectations by 10% in June of 2021. And now they're uh, essentially in line for the March quarter. Microsoft, a much more stable business, exceeded by 4% in June and was exceeded by 1% in the most recent quarter. And the reason why I mentioned that as kind of the beginning of still a transitory period regarding uh, tech is that we're, we have to look at the curve in terms of what does this tell us, this less upside. And ultimately, the market is thinking that the, it's not about the March quarter. It may not even be about the June quarter. It's about the September and December quarters. That's what we're thinking about. And of course, the recession. And uh, that may or may not happen, but I think what will probably happen is there's going to be some sort of relief around this earnings period. I think Apple's numbers are going to be strong. I think there's going to be a relief. And then I think investors are going to settle back into this uncomfortable place and wonder what's the upside going to be in the June quarter, and ultimately, are we going to get into a recession? And just to finish the thought, Andrew, is that these, uh, this, uh, I guess, more cautious view over the next three to six months doesn't change my optimism. I think that these companies are going to have a fantastic 2023 because ultimately the base is going to be reset in 2022. And I think that that's going to provide some strong growth and that upside will return in 2023. But the simple takeaway is I was relieved last night, but I don't think we're out of the woods yet.